Andrew Tate has to be one of the most polarizing figures on the internet today. He gets so much hate on the internet, but honestly, I've broken down five things he does that can really help you as a man up your life, get more dates, be more successful. So let's break down these five things and make sure to stick around to the end of the video because the fifth one is actually the most important. So number one is masculine energy. So confidence, posture, eye contact. See, look, my posture is bad right now. I actually need to work on this stuff too. Self-respect, boundaries, being able to listen, being able to learn. Overall, all those little things make up this masculine energy, being self-confident, knowing your self-worth, setting boundaries with people. You know, being confident enough to set the boundaries and if people don't abide by those to cut them out of your life. Number two is style and personal hygiene, dressing well, grooming yourself, brushing your teeth, styling your hair, shoes, accessories. And accessories don't need to be a fancy watch. I mean, tattoos, literally. Tattoos can be an accessory. A hat can be an accessory. Taking care of yourself, doing the little things like, I, I know it sounds stupid, but like brushing your teeth, showering, keeping yourself either trimmed beard or cleanly shaven. These are all huge things that may seem small, but overall are gonna really drastically help you. Number three is risk taking. Stop being so scared. Say what you think. Take business risks. Talk to strangers. I mean, it doesn't mean, like stop being scared to taking risks. Doesn't always mean, hey, I got a thousand bucks left. I'm gonna risk this all in Dogecoin. I mean, that's stupid. That's not taking a risk. Taking a risk is, okay, I got a thousand bucks. I'm gonna take 250 and I'm gonna invest in a course that's gonna teach me how to invest in cryptocurrency. It's not just taking a risk, going up to every girl you see, asking her out. That's just stupid. You just look like a clown. I mean, that's, hey, I, you know, I've been talking to this girl at the gym and I'm gonna take a risk and ask her out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask for a number. That's taking the risk. Doing that is attractive. You have to take risks to be successful. So that, that's a huge point to take from Andrew Tate. Take risks, stop being scared. Now, number four seems obvious. This is the one you probably all expected. Up your finances. The world opens up to you when you have more money. I know that sucks. It's bullshit. It's not fair, but the more money you have, the more opportunities you have. So you have to up your finances. And you up your finances with hard work, with learning, with self-confidence, and that can mean asking, it doesn't mean you have to start a multi-million dollar business. It might mean, hey, I'm gonna take some extra shifts at work, I'm gonna ask my boss for a raise, I'm gonna start learning some more things in the company I work for right now. Maybe I'm gonna, on the side, on the weekends, learn about the position above me, what they do, and then bringing that, providing that value to the company to move up the line. Or it might mean quitting your job and saying, fuck it, I'm gonna go start this business. That's part of the risk taking, that's part of that masculine energy, that's gonna be the highest risk, highest reward, right? So everything comes with risk reward ratio. So, I mean, asking for the raise, low risk, low reward. You might get bumped up a couple bucks an hour, but you know, it's pretty low risk to go ask for that. So anyway, getting to the fifth one, and I think this one is so huge. The fifth trait to be like Tate. Have I even mentioned it? That's sick, trait to be like Tate. But the fifth thing is honesty, keeping your word and integrity. This is so important. And I mean, when we take this back to Tate, you have to understand that he does, what he said, it's lined up, whether you agree with it or not, it's lined up for years. And that's huge, being honest. And it doesn't mean saying, hey, did you, um, uh, whatever, someone questions you, hey, did you do this? And you say yes. Being honest means being honest with yourself, how you actually feel, not being scared, and saying what you mean, what you think, having that self-confidence, this honesty and integrity and in keeping your word, it's tied in with all the other four things we talked about. So if you promise someone something, keep your word, deliver on that. But also promise yourself to always be true to yourself. That is going to help you in so many ways. That is going to help you feel more powerful, feel more masculine, feel more confident. It's going to get you more women, it's gonna get you more success in your job. Trust me, honesty is so huge. Always keep your integrity. Never sacrifice that for anything. It's the most important. Honestly, guys, do all five of these things. I guarantee your life's gonna change. I love y'all. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below which one of these five things you really need to work on and why. I love you guys. See you on the next one. Peace.